So, guys, it's been exactly one year since the career we all know and love, Scott Cawthon, retired. And, yes, it's... From you know, last year, it was really sad for everyone, including for me. I just, you know, when that one day when, you know, Scott put that, when he said he was going to retire, it's just, it really, I read it and it really broke my heart. And the reason why is that it's just like all of these, like, hate people, like, you know, all this hatred that he gets for just doing something that he believes in, such as donating to donating to you know other people or or just donating to things like like anti lb sorry what was it called again okay anti lgbtq plus I'm not saying that I'm I'm not saying at all that you know. He should have done that, and I I don't go against uh, I don't go against LGBTQ if I said that right again, but I don't go against that. And anyone that anyone that got offended by that, um, I'm sorry, but anyways, I'm like this happened like a year ago, so I'm like it still kind of matters, but still. And not only that, he also donated to Trump, and which is that that um made a lot of people upset which is you know i don't really care who he donates to but yeah he should probably he should have been a little more mindful of you know what he was you know or who he was donating to where his money goes yeah uh and then after that after that you know scott was just getting you know death threats and like a bunch of hatred and then that's really the reason why, you know, Scott retired. That was really the reason why he just wanted to get away from all the people, toxic people out there who, you know, who just, you know, hated him just because he donated to anti-LGBTQ plus and who donated to Trump, you know. So I get I get it, you know, you know, some people hate Trump and, you know, people would also hate, you know, for people was people would also, you know, hate on, you know, if you donate to, you know, things that you believe in, but, or things that, you know, but in anti, I'm sorry, I just, I can't talk, but, um, I'm like, Scott wasn't, after after last year, Scott wasn't, you know, permanently gone. He was just, you know, not active a lot. He wasn't, you know, you know, just there most of the time. Because I'm like, there are, there are like times where he, you know, shows up randomly. I'm like, he showed up for Daco's charity stream, and he, I think he donated. And then he also, he also commented on Daco's birthday last year. He commented on this video. Yeah, so Scott's not permanently gone, but I can also understand, you know, why he also retired. It's not just to get away from all the toxic FNAF people out there. It was also to, you know, just spend more time with his kids. He has six kids, guys. Six. He's got six kids. So, and also his wife. I'm like, I can understand that. I can understand that. I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, I was <laughs> married or anything. I had some kids. Of course, I'm still like, you know, I'm still like under 20. I'm still under 18. Okay. I don't want to reveal my age. So, anyway. That's just, those toxic people out there really had to, they really had to just cancel Scott like that. And not only that, he also got canceled on Twitter after that. He got canceled on Twitter. So, but yet again, this happened like a year ago, and uh, I just want to say, Scott, if you're watching this, highly doubt that you are, but if you are, um, we all miss you. We all do. Yes, we do see you from time to time, you know, sometimes on charity streams or even sometimes, you know, just on random videos such as, you know, Daka's birthday, but it's special, it's not really random, it's special, but whatever. 
yeah, we all miss you. And, you know, Security Breach wasn't really one of the best games, but it was a really good game just for, like, such as, uh, you know, map design, character design. Yeah, those were, like, really, like, the, the map and the, the character design were really good. But lore, lore is just, it's not really making any sense. Because hopefully, I thought that Security Breach was going to be the last game, and, you know, but, like, you know, Williams Knight not going to come back like he actually like dies and you know there's going to be more about Bandy, but no just scott i hope you're having a great time with your family and uh maybe at some point like maybe you could come back i'm like retiring you that doesn't mean you have to you know like you don't have to not work i'm like you can work if you want but i'm not saying you should like i'm, like, I'm not saying you should like, if you want to though but it would be cool if you came back but I'm like, FNAF, if there is to be another FNAF game, I don't think it's going to be coming out anytime soon. Besides, you know, Secure Reach Ruin, besides the DLC for that. So, yeah, that's basically, yeah, I just wanted to say, hope you, I hope you're having a great time with your family, Scott, and we all miss you. It's been one year since you retired. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say, so, yeah. I also hope that you guys that are watching this video are having a good time right now and also are supporting Scott after what happened a year ago. Uh, I was thinking of maybe talking like I am now, but I just decided to put, like, a photo on Instagram saying like with lolby on it and just have a thing that says hashtag i stand by scott and also i i do stand by scott so yeah and then like you know and i also did a trailer for him i also did a trailer fan made trailer of all the other fnaf trailers that Anyways, I think that's all I'm going to talk about now. Yeah, that's it. Well, I uh, hope to see you guys in the uh, in next video. So, I stand by Scott. I stand by you, Scott. And uh, I hope you are having a good retirement with your wife and your kids. <laughs>